Huge cities all around the world create a lot of sewage. And if it's not taken care of properly, that city will turn into a dump. And that's exactly the reason most cities around the world have a wastewater treatment plant. And they need a facility like this to clean the water before they dump it in the river, sea, or a reservoir. The water has to be acceptable so it doesn't damage the life around it. You could say this river is dead and you can't save it anymore. And the main reason is that the people in charge didn't know what they were doing and they didn't set up a plan to fix it. But we said all that to tell you guys, what do wastewater plants use to clean the water before they discharge it? One of the most interesting and important things that helps wastewater plants clean the water is something called gravity and we'll explain it later in the video. Pack up your bags, we want to go to a city that has the biggest wastewater plant in the whole entire world, in Chicago. In this city, there's 2 million people living there and next to that, there is a lot of industrial buildings and factories and all the sewage that's created by these people goes in this facility and it's good to know in the end when the water is actually cleaned up it's gonna be discharged in the Chicago River, the same river that flows through the city. And the Chicago River connects to the Mississippi River, the biggest river in the US. The Chicago wastewater plant cleans two and a half billion liters of wastewater and discharges it in the Chicago River. But the capacity of this facility is not two and a half billion liters, it's actually five billion liters. To make sure everything is done properly, they have to make this facility bigger than they need. And if they have to fix something or shut something down, the plant can continue working while they fix it. And they don't have to discharge dirty water into the river. Just like we said, the Chicago plant is bigger than they need. But this is true for almost every other wastewater plant in the world. Because they make it almost double the size they need just for safety. But just like we said, let's go see how they actually clean it. If we want to explain the entire process of how a wastewater plant works, we have to go to school for about two years. To be an operator, you have to go to that school. But we just want to explain a little part of this plant. And that thing is done by something called gravity. Any sewage you see in these plants is more than 90% water, but that little bit of contaminants ruins the water and turns it into sludge. So the main point of this plant is to get rid of all these contaminants in the water and make it clean. In the sewer, you can find pretty much anything. It starts from tissue paper, plastic bottles, syringes, and a lot of other disgusting things. So first things first, the screening will take care of all the huge objects. After the screening process is done, they have to slow the water down to give it time to settle. When you slow the flow of the water down, gravity has a huge impact on it and it allows all the heavy grits and sands to start falling down to the bottom. So how do they slow the flow of the water down? You basically have to give it a lot of room. When a stream is moving at a high speed and you dump it in a huge tank, that slows the water down. And this is exactly the way they slow the water down in a plant. When the water is nice and slow, you have to give it time for all the grits to fall to the bottom. So how do you give all this water this much time? The way it's designed is that there are different sets of pools that give the water so much space that slows the water down at any speed you need. And that gives gravity time to clean that water a little bit. The size of these pools has a lot to do with the amount of water that comes inside that plant. And to calculate that, that's done with engineers before the plant is made. Anything in this water has its own weight. So anything that's heavy goes to the bottom quickly, but the lighter ones take a longer time to settle and that is why they need this much space. When the water starts to settle, on top it looks cleaner than what it is. And that is why the water that looks clean but has a lot of bacteria and chemicals 
gets discharged from the top of the tank. The size of these pools is very important to the flow of the water because if the flow of the water is too fast, it doesn't give gravity enough time to clean it up and let the grits fall to the bottom. So when the water enters the next phase, it's not clean enough to do that process. And that is why the engineer's job is extremely important in designing the pools for the amount of water that flows in here on the daily. When the design is properly done and everything is working correctly, when the water enters the next phase, it's clean enough for that process to begin. After the screening, when the big contaminants are removed from the water, it enters the gravity phase. But this is not the end of it. Gravity is only getting rid of all the grits in the water. There are a lot more contaminants and chemicals in this water that has to be taken care of. But that's its own process. Wastewater plants are not the only facilities that clean water like this. Even companies that make bottled water use this method when they want to clean the water before they put it in the bottle. When the city sends clean water through the pipes so you can wash your hands and shower, they do the same process to clean it up. Because even though it's fresh water, it still has contaminants. Companies that create bottled water and cities that control the water have more time than wastewater plants. Wastewater plants have no time. They have to get rid of that wastewater as quickly as possible because the flow continues every day. That is the reason in these facilities, they use a certain chemical to allow the grit to fall quickly. The chemical basically diffuses the electricity inside the water and that allows the grit and grimes to fall to the bottom. When there is electricity inside water and there is this much contaminant in it, the electricity makes the contaminants dance around instead of fall to the bottom. If you don't have this chemical, the electricity will keep the contaminants up even though they want to fall. So it's an important thing if you want gravity to do its job. A wastewater plant is one of the most important modern methods to clean up the city. And if they're not working, pollution could get dangerous quickly. This is the Mithi River in Mumbai, India. Back in the day, this river was important for the people of this area. But now it's dying and 17 million people live around it. There is a lot of disease in this area and it continues to add on the daily. In Mumbai, it's not only the river, but the Indian Ocean side is this dirty as well. This is what happens when there's an insane amount of population in an area and the people in charge have no idea what they're doing and they don't care what they're doing. Unfortunately, a city like this could be fixed, but it seems like the people in charge don't care enough to start doing that. Countries like India, where the population is insanely high, most of these people don't have access to a bathroom. And that is why when you walk on the street, there is a high chance you will see human feces because they go to the bathroom in the street and go to work. So it's not only the rivers that are full of sludge, but the streets are like a sewer. I'm no engineer or person in charge, but it seems like a city like this can never be fixed. 